This is Moon Dust. It's a very unique game for the Commodore 64. And I did not know what to think of it when I first saw it. I messed around with it and eventually kind of figured out what was going on, I think. And uh, then I finally found the manual for it. And I'm like, oh, that makes sense, I guess. I figured I'd take a look at it here because it's probably one of my favorite games for the 64 now, and it's I really, really cool. I don't know what the heck is with it, but it's awesome. So basically, you go through and you can choose one of four difficulty levels. Beginner, Evasive, Freestyle, or Spin Sanity. Which I thought that was the name of a Crash Bandicoot game or whatever. But anyway, and now uh, you pretty much you start off in this screen where everything is just kind of going weird. The joystick kind of controls everyone at once. That's what I didn't understand at first. Everything is independently controlled yet controlled all at the same time. In theory, you are the astronaut guy who is just kind of spinning around with a disconnected head. Those five different colored things are moon ships. Basically, they go all around the screen, uh, sort of following your commands with the joystick. And the whole goal of it is, well, you see like different point totals coming up on the screen here. Think of it as a dartboard on acid. That's essentially the whole thing. With the astronaut spaceman guy, you can press the button on the joystick at certain points on the screen outside of the central area where there's a little circular kind of thing. And when you press that, he drops a seed. A moon seed, I guess, or something. And when you drop that seed, you want to drive your moon ships over that seed and spread the seed out. Yeah. In doing so, you want to spread that seed as close as you can to the middle of the board. So, uh, yeah, you, it's pretty much like hitting a bullseye uh, in darts or curling or whatever. Now, you occasionally do pretty well if you happen to get a bullseye or get really close, and then you'll get a bonus seed. Normally, you only have three seeds. But yeah, anytime you drive over a bullseye, I think it gives you another seed, or maybe it's every other time, I don't know, but uh, yeah, you just keep on doing that, and you keep spreading things out. The uh, most interesting fact about this game, though, is that the sounds and soundtrack are completely random, in a way. They're generated by the Commodore as you play it, so when you press left, it makes a certain set of sounds, you press up, it changes the pitch. Pull down on the joystick, then it changes the pitch in another way, and you can mix it diagonally, and you know, other things, and you'll get all sorts of really, really weird sounds. It's just, I'm, I'm looking at it now, and I, I kind of zone out. It's pretty cool to look at, too. There's a lot of messed up looking pixelization going on. It's actually quite fun. I would recommend it to anyone, whether or not you are on any kind of perfectly legal substance or not. It's enjoyable once uh, you kind of get the hang of it. I don't know if anybody ever can get the hang of it because it really does seem to have a mind of its own. It'll play with itself when you don't do anything. You know, if you don't watch it, it, it will get frisky. Sometimes the game will just end, especially on some of the later difficulty levels. I don't understand those completely at all. Sometimes the joystick button doesn't do anything. Sometimes it will switch counterclockwise and clockwise movements. But like I said, they move independently too, so I really don't understand every aspect of it, but the ones that I do, mainly, you just you know, try to hit the bullseye. Simple enough. And then the rest of it, you can just zone out. It's really good to come home and just chill to, that is, if you can get your Commodore 64 working within 15 minutes, which was a challenge for me, because my disk drive refused to work. And then when it would work, it would overload on memory, so I whatever, I haven't played it in a long time. And Anyway, it was freaking awesome, this game. If you can find Moondust, get it. If not, there's plenty of places online, Lemon64, 
such that it will uh, refer you to some good places where you can grab a disk image or a cartridge image or whatever method it happens to come in. So, Moondust.